Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello friends, today we'll be talking about how to launch Linux AC2 instance. But before that, we will discuss about AWS. So what is AWS? Amazon Web Services is a cloud computing platform that provides customer with a wide array of cloud services, all bundled at a single place. To be more specific, it is a secure cloud service platform that offers compute power, database storage, content delivery, and various other functionalities. There are various types of services provided by AWS, like compute, storage, database and data management, migration, hybrid cloud, networking, development tools and application services, management and monitoring, along with security, governance, etc. So this is the basic layout of AWS services, which is comprised of three major parts, deployment and management, application services, and foundation services. And under the foundation services, there comes compute service. And today we'll be talking about Amazon EC2 instance. So what is an EC2? EC2 is Elastic Compute Storage, or we can say it is a compute service. EC2 is a service that allows business subscribers to run application programs in the computing environment. The EC2 can serve as practically unlimited set of virtual machines. So what that means is that you can launch a virtual machine using EC2 and you can run several applications inside that virtual machine. Amazon provides a variety of types of instances with different configurations of CPU, memory, storage, and networking resources to suit users' needs. So what that basically means is that user can easily configure the EC2 instance according to their needs. So let's not waste any time and let's jump into launching the EC2 instance. So to launch an EC2 instance, uh, an AWS account is required. So once you have a, an AWS account, you can easily log into the AWS management console. And from here, you can select the EC2 service in the recently visited service, or you can also open the services. So I click here. So once you click on EC2 service, you can clearly see the details of all the instances which are running on your account and various other details too accord like elastic ips present dedicated hosts volume key pairs used so as of now there are no instances running so what we will do is we'll click on launch instance Now, AWS provides various data centers all around the globe. So we will be choosing US East Ohio for this tutorial. So this instance will be launched in US East Ohio. So the first step is choose an Amazon machine image, which basically is a template that contains the software configuration like operating system, application server, and applications. So here we'll click on free tier only, as this is for demonstration purpose and we don't want to get charged for it so what we will do is we will launch a ubuntu instance so we'll select this instance here now the second the second step is to choose an instance type so here we will choose the t2 micro which is free tier eligible which means that it is a instance which are eligible for free trade uses for the first 12 months following your AWS sign up date, you get up to 750 hours of micro instances each month. So you get a 750 hours of usage time for your EC2 instances for each month once, once from the time you sign up for the account and it is eligible for one year. And here you can see the other configurations related to the EC2 instance like CPUs, memory, instance storage. Now we'll click on next. Here we'll configure the instance detail. So here we can select the number of instances we want to launch and the network in which we want to launch the instance. So we'll keep the default setting here and we'll click on next. Here we have to choose the size of the disk we want to allot to the EC2 instance. So free tier eligible customers can get, get up to 30 GB of EBS 
and so we'll choose 30 and we'll click next now add tags is the fifth step and in that step we need to give a name to our instance so we can do that later so we'll click on next so the next step is to configure the security group here we decide that which type of traffic flows into our instance so we will we will be choosing the default security group present here so select an existing security group and here we'll click on default and then we'll click review and launch so review and launch basically means that you can see all the details regarding your instance like storage tags and everything and here is a notification that your security group is default so it is by default open to the world so later when you launch your instance you can configure the security groups according to your needs so we will be launching the security the ec2 instance now here you have two options to launch the instance once either you can proceed without a key pair or you can create a new key pair so we'll recommend you to create a new key pair because it is mandatory for the authorization of the ec2 instance so we'll name it as test so what hap what will happen is that once we click on download key pair we can download the test file on our system so this is the pem file and after that we'll launch the instance so here you can see your launch your instance are now launching so we can click and check the status of the instance now once the instance is launched it can take up to a minute to launch so just be patient meanwhile we can name the instance so as the instance instance is getting launched you can check that it has been allotted a public ip and the other details regarding the instance are present here in the description like the instance state the instance type the security group you can also view the inbound and outbound rules present here and along with that you can see other necessary information regarding the instance like the vpc the virtual private cloud in which the instance is launched and in order to connect to the instance what we'll do is we'll click on connect now these are the simple instructions given here to easily connect to the instance you can follow these instructions and once you have launched an instance if you want to reboot that instance or if you want to take any action regarding that that instance you simply need to click on actions now here you can click on instance state from here you can stop the instance reboot the instance or terminate the instance so we just named it earlier but i think it didn't get reflect so we'll do it again now it it is recommended that if you are not using the instance then please stop it and if you won't use the instance in future then we'll request you to terminate the instance so that your early usage is not extended so we'll click on terminate as of now so here is a warning that if you once the instance is terminated it cannot be recovered so we'll click on yes terminate so basically friends today we launched a linux ec2 instance and the is the instance was ubuntu 16.04 and this instance can be used further to launch your own applications and we will be using this instance to launch the kubernetes in future tutorials so guys thank you for watching this video